I am doing a 100% remodel and restoration of this 17-acre, 15-room, 5,000-square-foot mansion that my great-great-grandfather bought 90 years ago for $7,000. Since I've moved in five years ago, I've got a lot done. I removed the junk from the yard. I resided the house. I built a wraparound porch. And we got to work up in the attic. We decided to tear out all the wood, suck out the old insulation. Then we spray foamed everything. After that, we tore out the upstairs and downstairs hardwood floors, gutted the downstairs walls, spray foamed again, demoed the kitchen, the back staircase, and tore up the kitchen floor. So this brings us to today. At the moment, the house is currently heated off these radiators. We have hot water running through them. So we have one in this room one in there that's two we got one around the corner that's three we got one over there that's four we got one right here that's five we got one there that's six i need a finger that's number seven then upstairs we got number eight we got number nine going around the corner we got number 10 over there we got number 11 12 13 14 and then there's none up in the attic right None. We are going to be installing a radiant in-floor heat system, so we are no longer going to need the radiators anymore. So today, we are going to try to pull these bad boys out. We're going to have two problems to try to deal with today. The first one is these things, some of them are cast, some of them are copper, some might be brass but they're solid stinking metal. These things are heavy as can be. I've been working on the guns quite a bit lately. <laughs> but we're gonna have to figure out a good way to carry these things because it's gonna be a brute. With the help of my neighbor Justin and my friend Roman, we are going to be tackling the largest DIY project I have ever done. Welcome to the complete remodel and restoration of my family's mansion. Dobry ranok, Roman. Dobry ranok, Cole. None of us have ever pulled out radiators before, so the first thing we need to do, we need to get the water drained out of this system because if we start cutting things and there's 10 gallons of water inside this radiator, that's gonna make a mess. In order for us to get the radiators cut out, we need a new set of metal sawzall blades. We only have wood ones right now, so I'm gonna make a run to Menards. And I'm also gonna get some lifting straps. So now we're scrambling and trying to figure out what we're going to do. Um, because we don't have a single metal sawzall blade to start cutting them out but at least we can start draining the system because all these radiators all throughout the house and the pipes are full of water so we need to drain that first so we don't make a big mess when all that water starts pouring out at the cut location. Let's go look in the shop and see if he's got any in there. At least someone is thinking today. Yep. Always Roman. Always got no, the ideas. I, that's why I pointed the camera at you. It's you. I don't think this has ever been used. Still brand new? Oh, yeah. well, I might have to put a JV right there. There was a brand new box of blades. Don't ask me which drawer. Oh, look at this. There we go. Good thing. Paul organized his shop so he knows what he has in here. I wonder You can do it this way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna try to be as efficient as possible. The insulation guys let us rent the insulation vacuum, which is in the trailer. We're just gonna bring that back on the way to Menards. See you after lunch, Justin and Roman. Good luck. Do we need to drain the system first? Yeah, I know. I'm just getting my blade. You're getting, getting antsy? I'm getting ready. Okay, let's drain the system. In order to drain everything we need, the lowest part of the system As you can see how this is made to be the lowest i know cole would be mad at me because we're getting paid by the hour but if we had the garden hose we could just hook it up run it to the drain and forget about it and start cutting out radiators i don't see one do you i didn't Three more gallons, that's six. I'll go up and try to crack the, the top the top of the radiator. Well, the flow is getting lower, so. It's essentially, we're creating suction yeah. now. The same kind of valve you have on your tires. Now That was 19, I just jumped. To ensure we drain everything out of the system, might as well crack open every single radiator like that on the top. So we make sure everything drains.
Welcome to the insulation place. And looks like they're getting a delivery. Who deliveries? How many? It's 74. 74 gallons so far. And I could see, I could still hear water bubbling in the radiators. Really? Upstairs or? Uh, first floor. Oh. Water's getting really dirty now. Yeah, so we're down to the nasty. If we really think about it, these pipes will, will hold a lot of water. Time to go to Menards. Three, one. We're gonna try 15 metal sawzall blades and we're gonna try one of these, but instead of having a dresser there, we're gonna go with a radiator. And we might be pushing it. It's getting weaker. Water's getting real dark, means we're getting closer. Yes, we're getting paid by the hour, but we kind of got tired of water keeps coming and coming, so we decided to increase the speed. I feel like we're gonna get in trouble when Cole shows up and he is gonna ask what we've been doing. And we'll say that both of us were carrying buckets of water, which probably will make him ask why he didn't hook up garden hose. What are we gonna respond to that, Justin? We were curious to see how much water was in there. Justin said, we were curious how much water was in there. I guess that's a good answer. Plus, we get paid by the hour. The funny part about draining the system, Justin told me, oh, Daddy Cornstar told me that it's gonna be only 17 gallons of water. I'm like, Probably not. I said I wouldn't be surprised if, it, surprised if it's gonna be 117 gallons of water. Come to find out, the final number is 167 gallons of water we pulled out of this system. Justin really enjoys music of 70s and 80s and whenever he listens to the radio and one of these his favorite songs sounds which is the man eater. Oh here she comes. You know so I'm gonna start whistling this song and see how much whistles I need for Justin to pick this melody up and get into his head. Where did I put my gloves? Oh, you start singing already. <laughs> Do you actually want me to hold it or just look at it? Just go down there and hold it and then You'll be able to tell once I cut it if it's gonna fall. He always makes me work. Okay, two left, huh? Roman's a man eater. Yes, he is picking up. Maybe time for a new one. Yeah, if we had water in every single pipe, it would cool it off and we would never have to even replace the blade. We move down to the first floor and we have one, two, three, four, five, six radiators. Oh, seven. We have seven radiators here. This is the one I'm carrying out. By yourself? Yep. Yep. And you and Cole can have that one. That one. That one. This big piano. Holy buckets. He's pinched. Pinchy. It bent the blade. To a you bent. To a Z. While Justin is playing around with his power tools, we're gonna do the man way. <laughs> It is super easy, just need a few breaks throughout the process. I'm 
when I beat you, Justin. She pinched a little bit. Cole, just keep buying new blades for Justin. Did it again. Did it again. Okay, which way do you want me? Did it hit your yeah. tender spots? Yeah. Wrist. You pick up. That ain't gonna move, is it? Aha! Aha! As you can see, the challenge was each one of these radiators is the twisting pressure that every single pipe has at the inlet and outlet. So every pipe is a surprise. Is it gonna pinch or not? How bad it's gonna pinch? And the heavier the radiator is, the harder to get out and pry it out and move it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Huh? You think it's gonna pinch? <laughs> yeah. Smart. I felt it was gonna pinch. Way to go, Justin. No yeah, you learn something, don't you? All right. Yeah, if you don't yet. learn anything, you're no good. I got all the other ones cut. You oh. got one to do. I really hope you're not too sore. <laughs> My arm hurts after getting caught over there. Aww. I think it's pretty dull. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, missing, missing teeth. Just for the challenge sake, I better change the <laughs> blade. No, we need to have it missing I'm teeth. serious, it has missing teeth. <laughs> Are you tempting me to quit or something? Yeah. You're at two minutes already. Just 18 minutes. Liar. 18 minutes. Not bad. Not bad. I wasn't even trying. Yeah, not bad. You were grunting. Plus, cussing and grunting. I heard it. It's on film. Rewind. Plus, I had to cut it in an angle. We are done cutting all the radiators off of the pipes, off of the system, so they're not hooked up anymore. But we're waiting for Cole to bring the moving straps. So we have an easier job to carry all these radiators out but since he is not here we're gonna do something else which is cutting all these pipes out of the first floor and then all we'll have left is all the piping in the in the basement we're kind of trapped here we have HVAC guys that came to measure the house to size the boiler that Cole is gonna be getting and we can't really make any noise because they are measuring and talking and communicating. So Justin and I are just trying to find what we can do useful while they're doing that. Well, move all them off the flooring and clean that flooring up. Upstairs while the truck's right there, we can put his coal. Oh, we made it back. And we actually made it just before lunch. Hey, you scrappers, I told you to stay away from those. I didn't know you did some modeling back in the day, Justin. Is that me? The pink shirt, yeah. It kind of looks like Roman a little bit. Sideburns. Oh, I see it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy guacamole. Here Roman comes. Got him hooked up on the song. Hey, Roman, I was reading the comments last night. Stick your arm out. Somebody said I better check your pulse because they don't think that you are human and underneath this skin that you're a machine. Sounds like these radiators are not light, which we already knew. This 
been confirmed. I'm struggling to open this box. The instructions for this, the ready lifter does not make you stronger than you are without it. That look good? That look good? I think this hooks on something like this. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna work. I did not sign up for this. You gotta stabilize that, Roman. Hey, this is actually working pretty good. <laughs> you wanna dance? <laughs> It's heavy. <coughs> uh. Ugh. Got some in my shoes. four of them so far. One was a small one, two were a medium one, and one of them was kind of a medium large. They, the hardest part is getting them balanced as you're walking along. Like, they want to sit there and keep doing this as you're going. So Justin having a surgery on his back, what, how many years ago? Four. Four years ago, decided to do something that I wouldn't do. Cole doesn't want to slice that radiator in half. No, I said so, I'm perfectly fine with it, and then Justin's like, well, I'll try carrying it. So it's on you, Justin. We'll try it. Here's slip two. Yeah, it comes off that red thing. Okay, we are back to the drawing board a little bit now because our handy-dandy lifting straps from Menards, they are not holding up. The other side, this red thing, which is like the locking strap, that broke. Justin and Roman did a little bit of pulling on this one and they determined that this one is actually heavier and we broke the strap on that one and we don't just have one that's super mega heavy we actually have two of them this one's just painted white that's the only reason why it looks different we've gotten four out though which they were kind of the smaller ones and we have nine to go there are two upstairs these ones seem a lot smaller they're definitely still super heavy but I think it's manageable for two people yeah especially for someone like you Cole that it's not afraid to break the back. And then all the other ones upstairs, which are these ones, they're all the same size. They're still nice, big, and beefy. But we might be able to get them. I, we're gonna see. I just had to regrip, don't stress. No, I'm not. This way, the stairs give out. Hopefully you go first. <laughs> Whew. Only your back. Yeah, lift Ready? with your back, not your legs. There you go. <laughs> Right there. <laughs> How are you supposed to read oh, the yeah. scale? Dude. Look through the holes. The one we just weighed has nine bars on it and it was 300 pounds. So that comes out to like 30 pounds a bar. So that means this one has 21 of these. This is a 700 pound radiator. And those ones are heavier than this. This is the biggest one we have upstairs. It's in my grandpa's old room. It is an 11. So whatever 11 times 33 is, that's how heavy that is. 366 pounds. All back. Oh! Good? Good. Finally you asked me. I'm good? I've been waiting for that, that someone will ask me how I feel. <laughs> we got all the radiators out of the upstairs, so the daunting task of carrying 400 pound radiators down the stairs is done and the stairs did not break, which we were extremely fortunate of. We actually came up with the plan if the stairs did break. What would we do? What would be our bailout plan? Because uh, not gonna lie, we were a little concerned about that. We now have 11 radiators down. So four are outside, we have seven sitting right here. And now we just have the big ones left. We don't have enough manpower to lift these. So we have some reinforcements coming. Noah, how much do you squat? Uh, I think I got like 525 for some doubles tomorrow morning. So we'll see how that goes. Sam, what do you squat? What do I squat? Whatever I put on the bar. That's why they call me Big Dad. That's why you just see him with 45s over there. Just like, oh, help, I'm falling and I can't get up. No. Brock, how many steps did you take today? <laughs> Not enough. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm here for the free food. Uh, you know, oh yeah. That steak burrito sounds pretty good. Yeah, you copied me, dude. I said I want a steak burrito. And but I got the sauce and cheese, and cheese dip. Oh yeah. Yeah. Nah, that's not good, boys. Same, what do we find out over here? 
Well, don't step on the boards, because as you can see... Yeah, you're getting fired. Look at that. Should we get on camera? Cole did say we're getting workman's compensation. Did he? Yep, for all this, yep. Well, he's outside right now. See, he's outside, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. He's in a skid loader. So take so. the hammer and hit me in the back of the head real quick. Uh... Uh, won't make you any dumber, so. <laughs> let's, let, let's watch Mr. Firefighter here. Come on. Well, let's go. Come on, Mara, boy. I need my fry Come pry bar. Oh. Yeah. You need your pry bar. No, you need your fire truck, man. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yep, yeah, come on. Uh, one down, five to go. Oh, boys, we made a mess. What's going on? What was that? Uh, Dude. <laughs> Someone had too much Mexican for lunch the other day. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Dude, guys, Cole's homeless right now, so he's just living out of his car, so. Yeah, this one's gonna be a big suck. Uh, I don't even know what. Well, that's what I'm saying. We got like one guy in each corner. Let's say just chuck it out the window. <laughs> Better? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. guys thank you so much you bet man glad we could get it done <laughs> so happy to be a service <laughs> we have no more radiators now so I, I don't know what we're getting into next but we got a lot of work to go but we are now one step closer to construction this is all we got for today thanks for watching see you in the next one